Hey, hey everybody, this is the Review Revolution coming back at you with another Marvel Legends uh, Walmart only review. Uh, today we're taking a look at Black Bolt with his uh, build a figure piece. Which one it is? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Uh, on the top, we've got a picture of Black Bolt, Marvel Legends, and the four obligatory portraits of the character. Uh, as far as Black Bolt goes, I actually used to think he was a very awesome character. I actually think he was pretty cool. He's one of my favorite, well, I won't say favorites, but uh, he was definitely one of the cooler characters that, that I thought was out there, uh, especially from the Immortals, you know, and so forth. Um, that was until I started to see him kind of on his own, and I uh, didn't see him with Medusa. And I started to realize, man, he just kind of stands there. And without that piece of eye candy on his arm, it's actually kind of boring. <laughs> I mean, he, he, stand, he stands there and looks imposing, but other than having just his, uh, his you know, super siren scream thing, he's, he just looks imposing. That's it. He just looks intimidating. So, you know, he's the leader of the Immortals, and I guess in that case he's kind of cool, but, eh, you know, not, not, not nearly as awesome as I used to remember him to be. But um, looking at the pack, on the back we've got the other figures, Tigra, Punisher, Black Bolt, which, funny enough, he's the third figure we've done, and the third in the line, pattern, Daredevil, Nova, and Beast. Together, these six heroes come together to form, no, not really, <laughs> but they are part of the Nova, or Nova, Nemesis Wave. And uh, Pasu Jelaya, I hope I'm saying that right, and Ball Python 77. Guys, thank you so much. You came through for me. I knew I recognized the character. I knew that I knew the name Nemesis. Just when I went looking for him, I couldn't find anything on him. And sure enough, now I remember, originally he was one of the four horsemen of Apocalypse called Holocaust. And uh, basically, he was a flaming skeleton who absorbed the power of Starfire, I believe it was, or Sunfire, Sunfire, and uh, had to be put in a suit of armor to contain his powers. And when that happened, he changed his name. I think he died in the comic, too, if I remember correctly. But um, those are the figures in the wave, uh, Nemesis being the uh, Builder figure. Uh, on the pack, we've got that picture of Black Bolt which I seriously doubt is going to turn out looking this cool. But on his bio, it says, Black Bolt is a monolith of a man. He's, his silent presence radiates a sense of control and authority. As king of the Inhumans, I said immortals, didn't I? Of the Inhumans, a human subspecies created by the alien Kree, he wields a power of vast, vast and terrible. He is cursed never to speak, for even the slightest utterance from his lips carries the power to destroy. He communicates with his fellow humans and the outside world through his wife Medusa, whose understanding of his intentions is nearly total. With her and his council of mighty warriors and keen thinkers at his side, Black Bolt defends his people fiercely. He will stop at nothing to see that the Inhumans are safe from the perils of the outside world. So, Inhumans, not Immortals. Get it right. Um, for the most part, you know, Pretty standard fair packaging for the Marvel Legends. Um, I have to say, you know, when it comes to these waves uh, with Mattel and with Hasbro, mixing it up a little bit might not be bad. I know that uh, Mattel is going to mix it up with their DC Universe wave uh, that's going to be coming out. You know, I don't know if, uh, if there's going to be any more Marvel Legends, the six inch ones, but if they do, you know, a little bit of mixing up there might be kind of cool too. But uh, we'll take a moment, pop them out of the pack, and get a close look at the figure. So be right back. All right, well, now that we got Black Bolt out of the pack, I'm going to say right now, I'm going, on, going to go off on another little rant here. Um, not so much about the character, but more about Hasbro. Because this figure really, to me, just says, you know, collectors, we don't care about you. We don't really care about these characters either. We're too big a company to, to spend time on that. And we really just say, here, buy it, give us your money. This is a disgusting character, or a disgusting figure of a character. Um, first off, 
when you look at Black Bolt, when you read his bio, when you read him in the comic, he is an imposing character. He's a monolith of a man. And you look at this, and it's... I mean, it's some guy in his pajamas. It's just, it's so disappointing. This is in no way anyone that could intimidate the thing or something or someone like that. He's just pathetic. Uh, the figure itself, I mean, when you look at the face, I mean, there are, there are much better ways of painting and sculpting this face other than just the mask with his eyes poking out. It just looks terrible. Against the black, you can tell the skin tone is way too pale. It's way overdone. Apparently, I'm guessing that it was bleeding through, and they just had to put that much application on to cover it up. The the articulation on him, he's like a regular... I mean, just like the Punisher, he's just a male figure. So, all the standard articulations are going to apply. Up, down, left, right. Arms go up. Arms go around. Has a twist at the elbow at the wrist, and a hinge. Now I'm going to get back to the hands here in just a minute. He's got a little bit of a crunch on his body. The legs go out, legs go up. Uh, there's a bend at the knee, at the boot, at the ankle, and so forth. So no excuse, this is just a regular human male shape. No way they should, be, should have gotten that wrong. On the hands, they are both molded open. And, you know, Marvel Legends, some of their figures have articulated fingers, some don't. Say what you will about figures like Superman who have his hands molded in fists. I'd rather have the fist than these open hands. There is no dynamic or, or heroic pose you can get with him holding his hands like this, with them being open. It just doesn't work. Along the same lines, these wings he's got, they're made of a fabric, and they're put together kind of like the Spider-Man webbing are, which I've never liked that either. If you can't get it right, don't do it. Don't even do the character. Um, really? I mean, I just think that he's, he's a really pathetic character. Uh, well, not character, but figure. I, I, I completely blame Hasbro for, for, for putting this out, and I'm, I'm personally offended by it. Um, he does have the leg of Nemesis, who's going to be much... Just the leg itself is much cooler than he is. But that's been my rant on, uh, on Black Bolt. A drag on the line, for sure. Uh, certainly a character who needs to get re-released, who, who needs to be uh, uh, made by someone who gives a rat's ass about who he is. Um, I'm going to end this now because it's just pissing me off. Um, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution. Be back next time.